remove the TV along with the aerial and power cables from the travelling case. The remote control can be found within the small pouch. Lift the pin on the wall mount to release the bracket. Gently lower the TV onto the bracket until it clicks into place. Always plug the cables into the back of the set first before plugging into the wall. There are just two cables to plug in. The black one is the power and the white one is the aerial. Plug the other end of the cables into the wall sockets. This will help you avoid blowing a fuse. Make sure that the TV is switched on. The main on off button can be found on the bottom left side of the TV. Then turn on using the remote control's power button. Ensure it is set to digital TV by pressing the source button on the remote control and selecting digital TV. Depending on where you've traveled, you may need to retune the channels. To do this, press and hold the large orange button that says AQT in the middle of the remote control until an option appears on the screen. Make sure you have the correct country selected and press OK on the remote. It will now automatically search for all the Freeview channels available in your location. To watch a DVD, press the source button on the remote control and scroll through the options to select DVD. The DVD input can be found on the right hand side of the television. Make sure that the shiny side of the DVD is facing in the direction of the screen. To watch the how-to videos on a USB stick or if you have your own external hard drive, select USB. The USB ports can be found on the top of the TV. When packing away the television, always unplug the cables from the wall socket first and then the TV. To remove the TV from the wall bracket, press in the release catch at the top of the bracket and slide the TV off. Place the set back into the case with the screen facing down. Secure the Velcro straps and zip up the case.